In today's video, we're gonna talk weekly reviews and how you can set one up even if you've never been able to stick to one in the past. Hi, my name is Ev and I create YouTube videos to help you build your personal knowledge systems so you can think better, work better, and live better. So today I thought I'd show you around my weekly review process. Now, full disclosure, I'm pretty bad at being consistent with a weekly review. I have a tendency to steamroll forward in life and very rarely stop to reflect on what has just happened. But that can often mean that I miss important moments as well as that benefit that you get when you reflect on the past in order to improve your future. So I built a setup in Tana that doesn't rely on me. So even if I skip a week, I still have a snapshot of that week that I can look back on any time. So in this video, I wanna show you my really simple, no fuss setup, and hopefully it inspires you to create a weekly review system that you really love. All right, so my weekly review happens on my week super tag. So to get to your week super tag, all you have to do is if you're on your day page, come to this button here today, right click and go to this week. Okay, once you're here, um, you can then navigate back and forward. So I want to go back to last week to do my weekly review. So I can go back here and I've kind of got everything that I need. As part of my weekly review, I have two main parts. The first is this part here, which is this week at a glance. So this is kind of like a snapshot of all the things that have happened that week. And so it kind of rolls everything up from each of the day pages that week into this week at a glance. And so what I like about this is that I don't have to do any work here, okay? So I don't have to pull things in. I don't have to go looking through my workspace. Everything is here waiting for me. And what that means is that I can jump in here and very quickly kind of get this weekly review done. Or if I don't jump in here, which can often happen, I still have this snapshot. And so it's kind of like, you know, a moment in time, that was that week and I can come back at any time. And so two years down the track, I might look at this week or, you know, five years down the track and I can see all of the things that were going on in my life. You can really spend time being present in your days and then know that all of these things are going to kind of be there when you need them. I bring in a few different things here in my snapshot or my week at a glance. Uh, the first thing that I bring in is my schedule. So this opens up and I can view everything. If I come back up here, everything that I um, uh, did that week. Okay, so this we're viewing this in cards at the moment, but I could click this calendar button. Um, it's a bit easier to see in the calendar. So I can see all of the appointments that I had on events and appointments and then all of the tasks, whether they were done or in some cases not done. Okay, so I really love to see this snapshot on my page. Um, it's very, very easy then to kind of, um, you know, say like, you know, was I working on some things? Was I, you know, this day, obviously I had, you know, scheduled too much for myself or not enough or, you know, so there's a whole lot of things that I can kind of see and start to look at once I go into the review stage. The second thing that I look at is completed items. And this just helps me kind of either feel like a rock star. And most weeks I do. Most weeks I surprise myself and I say, like even on weeks that I think I didn't really get much done, having everything here um, and being able to just scroll through it and say, wow, I actually did get a lot of things done this week. And so it really makes me feel good. It also helps me um, or kind of prompts me if there's things that I have to do as a result of some of these completed items. Um, and so it's just a good prompt to say like, okay, is there anything that needs follow up from any of these? Okay, so the third one here is moments. So, and I'm really trying to be better at capturing different moments in my life um, so that, you know, my, my personal knowledge management system isn't just for getting things done. I want it to be like a full life log. Like, you know, I want to be able to see all of the moments that happened and celebrate them and, and that kind of thing. So I'm really making a concerted effort um, to record more moments. And so uh, this week it was my dad's 70th birthday. So I recorded that. I've got some images in there. Um, and, uh, and then, you know, this one here, I shipped another newsletter. I was just proud of myself, shipped it, 
great. And so I just recorded that as a moment. And so the last thing I keep in this snapshot part is my journal. So um, I'm probably gonna blur out most of these, um, but hopefully it gives you a bit of an idea. And so I use a concept called interstitial journaling. Um, so throughout the day, I just you know write little thoughts. I don't kind of have a journaling, uh, you know, like uh, routine where I sit down for like 30 minutes and journal, I'm, I'm not very good at that. I have another video where I talk about three ways that you can journal in Tana. So if you want to learn more about journaling, then make sure you check that out. But here is all of those kind of interstitial uh, journals that I roll up into this view. And so I find this really helpful because what it means is it goes from, you know, being very uh, in the day, like in the present, in the moment, to being able to see them all kind of, you know, in a line throughout the week. Um, and that means that I can start to see patterns emerge. And so what I generally tend to do is kind of read through them all again. I'll highlight some parts that I think I might run a reflect on. Um, there might be some patterns that I see. And so I find the journals probably, um, the journals and the schedule, the two things that prompt me the most when it comes to reflection. And so these are really easy to set up, okay? So they're all based on some kind of date, okay? So schedule um, is any events or tasks that are scheduled for a certain day. Uh, completed is anything that's completed on a day. Moments happen on a certain day. Journals are from a certain day, okay? So each of those super tags have a date uh, field associated with it. So let me show you the, the actual live searches are really easy to set up here. So if we just have a look here, all you have to do is let's say you have a task or an event uh, super tag that has a date in it. So my event and task super tags have a date field called event time. And so anytime I put something in that date, it ends up being on that day okay on that day page um, and so all that I have to do to get everything that has happened that week all I have to do is search for anything that has that uh, field and I just put this grandparent in here now all of these are based on a parent or a grandparent search of a date. So how this works is, and the reason why this is called grandparent is because of this, okay? So this is the schedule, okay? So if I was searching for a parent, I'd be searching for one level up, okay? So that's this week at a glance, so I don't wanna do that. I wanna search for this level, so I wanna find anything that has a date within week 19, okay? So I'm looking for the grandparent because this here would be the parent, and then if I go up to the next level, it's week 19. So if you had this schedule kind of in line with week 19, you would use parent, but because I have it nested under a heading, um, then I, I have to use grandparent, okay? So that's kind of how I do that. The completed one is uh, a little bit different. So I just come in here. So I'm looking for anything that's a task that has a done time of grandparents. So this done time is a system field. So you can just come here and you can find done time. Okay, and then you just write grandparent in here um, and then you've got that search already done for you. Okay. Uh, these moments is the same. Okay, so we're looking for moment with event type of grandparent. Okay, so that's the date field in my moments that I fill in. Um, and the same for journals. So I'm looking for journal with the journal date. It just has a different um, date field of grandparent. And so really whatever you want to roll up into your day page, all you have to do is create a search that finds that super tag with the date field as parent or grandparent. And it's as easy as that. And you can, you can bring in as many different things as you want into your week page um, to kind of get that snapshot of what happened for you throughout that week. And so my reflection ends up being really, really simple. I do not complicate it at all. I have three questions that I ask myself and then I wrap up my week with a GIF, all right? So um, what I really like here is that um, basically I can open up any of these um, and have my reflection kind of down here, but sometimes I will bring up the reflection part in a uh, in the uh, on the right side. So I just press command um, here. And so that gives me my reflect. Um, and then I can open up this and I can say, okay, 
oops, we'll close this. Um, I can look through, you know, uh, like Tuesdays, right? I, I scheduled way too many things. So I kind of come in under here and say, what didn't work? Um, Tuesday scheduled too many things. Need to watch out for, we'll watch, watch for that, okay? Um, I might also, um, I can tell you, my, I had my family over for my dad's 70th and uh, I was a little bit stressed out. I left things to the last minute. So um, don't leave party planning uh, to the last minute is something that I would definitely put here. And so I just kind of start to use all of this as a prompt for either stuff that worked and that I want to continue doing. Um, stuff that didn't work, okay, and I find I'm much better at kind of um, noticing that. Um, and uh, and then I kind of have this other question, which is like anything else. So is there anything that I need to follow up on? Is there anything that um, is prompting me to kind of think, okay, um, you know, do I need to do I need to follow up on something? Is there a project I need to work on? Um, so this kind of ends up being like, you know, is there anything kind of follow up? From there, and so once I've reflected on my week and uh, and kind of you know put anything down, I might you know a lot of the time this anything else ends up being like you know I need to um, do this task or follow up on this thing. So I'll be so I'll just list them all out here. So it'll be like a, a task, okay? Um, and so so that way when I go to plan my week, all of those things are already there waiting for me, okay? And then the final thing is I, I wrap up my week in a GIF. And this is just something I've been doing for a very long time um, uh, since I since I used Tana and even before that. And it's just something fun. OK, so they say that a uh, picture is worth a thousand words. Well, I just think like sometimes you don't have words for a week and uh, you do have a GIF. So it's kind of the most fun part for me. <laughs> Of the whole system and so I will just um, go to giphy.com find something that kind of sums up how I feel for the week and then I just um, upload it in here and that's it that's how I created a weekly review system that works without me and rolls everything up from my days into a neat weekly snapshot now if you want to know how I use this along with my weekly planning routine then you might want to check out this next video and as always don't forget to hit subscribe if you like Tana and you want more of these kind of videos in your feed